This is Dr. Charles Parker, and you're listening to Core Brain Journal. It's the place where I connect both fresh discoveries and interesting different perspectives from advanced mind science with the realities of real people and everyday life down on Main Street. Well, welcome to our folks. Dr. Charles Parker here one more time at Core Brain Journal, and we're really pleased to have you here because we have a mixed blessing here in the sense that we're not only going to have an announcement about a very important program that's coming up, but we're also going to hear from one of our Maven coaches, a parent Maven coaching person from ADHD land, Elaine Taylor Klaus. Elaine, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. It is truly a pleasure. So, yeah, we haven't talked for a long time. I'm looking forward to talking again. And what I'm going to do is skip the intro because I want Elaine to talk more about who she is and what she's doing because this is really about a project that is uh, underway and it's really called the Palooza Project. It's the ADHD Parents Palooza. There you go. Yep. And And I'll tell you about it. You know, hey, I'm learning myself. This is what happens. So (laughs) we're going to be talking about it. What I'll do is hit the support button here for just a second and then we'll go back and we'll talk more about Elaine and the project. So Core Brain Journal is supported by Great Plains Laboratory. They are deep international biomedical testing leaders for improved targeted mind science details. As both laboratory and webinar global thought leaders, they provide the most comprehensive set of hard data measurement tools for real biomedical answers beyond simple guesswork. They also provide multiple training webinars, this is very important, for both the public and medical providers on how to use that really cool data effectively in the office. Check out their website for references and testing details. And take note of this point, their Great Plains is supporting us at Core Psych, Core Brain Journal. And take a note, they have a complimentary test drawing every week over at this website. The tests range from in the range of $200 $200 to the range of $400. So you could save some money, get some testing done. Go take a look at it over there. Greatplaneslaboratory.com forward slash CBJ for Core Brain Journal. Yeah, I have to get unconfused as to who I am. It was funny because we started, I was thinking that Elaine was going to run the meeting and now I thought, hey, I got to put it on my thing. So we had a little confusion about that because it's, hey, in our land, it's Friday afternoon. And we're a little busy on a Friday, and so we're just punting and punting and punting. I hope it isn't too much of an annoyance to you guys. So let's get started in what we're actually going to be talking about. So Elaine, please start by telling us about who you are, and we know that you're on a serious mission, because we've interviewed you before here, (laughs) and we like the fact that you have a very significant following of people who know your mavenhood. They know what you're doing out there. So what's going to happen is we're going to hear from Elaine about this new project that she has. I worked with her all the way back when we were at meetings with the coaches organization, the National Coaches or ACO. I couldn't remember the, but it's the uh, ADHD coaches organization. It's been a long time ago. So she is going to tell us a little bit about herself and what's really, really cool about this project. Awesome. Thank you for that beautiful introduction. I have to tell you, if my grandmother were alive, she'd be so happy that you're calling me a maven. She'd just be thrilled. You are a maven, girl. I'm telling (laughs) you. Thank you. So again, my name is Elaine Taylor-Klaus, and I'm one of the co-founders of Impact ADHD, or impactadhd.com, which, as Dr. Parker says, is an online resource for parents of kids with complex issues, ADHD, LD, anxiety, depression, and all sorts of metabolic diseases. Whatever you're dealing with, if you've got a kid with chronic medical conditions and impact ADHD is a great resource for you as a parent. Because what we do as, as coaches is we teach parents how to take a coach approach to parenting. So real briefly, my story, I'm a parent of three kids. We are an ADHD plus plus family of five. We've got a lot of ADD, a lot of anxiety, a lot of learning disabilities in my realm. And as I was trying to raise these complicated kids and struggling and feeling very isolated and alone, I ended up in, in a coaching program for support because I wanted to help other parents because I was so isolated. And I discovered this method of management that was extraordinarily effective. And it really changed my life, my family life. Within a few years, my husband had gone back and he became a coach. And it's really transformed our family dramatically. And 
really it's about bringing a different style of communication to the way that we think about raising and medically managing kids with complex issues. It's, it's a little bit more in that wellness realm. It's a little bit more progressive and comprehensive. We're looking at where we want to go in terms of our kids' health and wellness and well-being instead of that old model that's, you know, what's broken that needs to be fixed. And so yeah. we're, we're assuming that there's nothing broken. Our kids are creative and resourceful and whole and fabulous. And it's our job as parents to help them reach their full potential and learn to self-manage and to medically manage themselves so that they really can reach their potential as adults. So well, that's, you know, it's really, that's why I'm here. Well, I mean, that's really cool. Sorry to interrupt you, but you know, that is one of the things that I really appreciate about you and your group because one and your your partner whose name escapes me right at the moment. Diane Dempster, the fabulous that's, Diane Dempster. That's right, Diane, I remember. So now you say it, but the issue is this is a completely different idea, folks. It is she's making it sound somewhat commonplace, but it's not commonplace. Okay. The pathologizing of ADHD is rampant in the country. So many people are misinformed and have no idea what they're doing, and they're throwing meds at people without even any target recognition. It's sort of like if you talk fast, hey, you need some medication. I mean, it, <laughs> it's true. It's, it's a problem. It's a big problem, and it's not just a USA problem. It's a global problem. We're the international thought leaders, and this is what's going on because everybody's writing for medication with almost no explicit criteria of what's going on. And what's really fresh and engaging about what Elaine's talking about here is looking at human beings in a different way. And that is, mm -hmm. what are their qualities? What do they have that they brought to the game? Not what's the problem? How do we sew them up? Their limb is about to fall off and we're going to have to go ahead and amputate it. This is, we have a problem and we have resources that are engaged already in the resolution of the problem. Why don't we go ahead and look at them and engage those resources as opposed to, whimsically going by and throwing something at them and crossing our fingers. So that's kind of a little more of an elaboration, but I think it's really important to differentiate what Elaine is saying from what the ordinary practice of coaching in coaching itself can be this way. It can be on the pathology side as opposed to the engaging, encouraging, proactive side. So, yeah. Well, you know, I would say that the coaching realm when well trained and and certified, and I would hate I hate to say it, but I will say in quotations, real coaches, right? People who are actually trained in the, in the methodology of coaching, it's very present and future focused. It's not that we disregard the past; we let the past inform us, but we don't dwell there. We let it bring us to where we are and move forward. And that's really what this Palooza is about: is is about bringing that education and awareness and information to parents of kids who are struggling. And shifting that language from fixing to supporting and empowering. And how do we, what do we as parents need to understand to be able to empower our kids to take ownership of their lives? So, I mean, that is so, you're so smart and so articulate. It's great. I mean, you know, and what happens is Elaine's brought a group of people together in this enterprise. So, Elaine, please tell us a little more about that okay. whole structure and what you plan to do there. Okay. So it's called the ADHD Parents Palooza. And I will say we are thrilled to be part of it. Diane and I and Impact ADHD are really excited to be teaming up with Linda Rogley of ADD Diva, who is really the brain trust behind the Palooza. She's been doing an, a Palooza for women with ADHD for several years, extraordinarily successful, um, has reached more than 7,000 people, and just really amazing. And so we've been talking about it all year and finally decided it's time to bring the Palooza to parents because, you know, it's a whole different set of conversations that happen when we're talking about parenting ADHD versus when we're talking about adults managing their own ADHD. And certainly there's some overlap because there are plenty of parents of kids with ADD who have it themselves. Mm -hmm. And if you want to help your kids, you got to manage yourself effectively. But really, the focus of this Palooza is on parents very specifically. And the reason we're having this conversation is because you have agreed to be one of the presenters at the ADD Parents Palooza. You're very kind really to invite me. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's <laughs> really a privilege. I mean, I, I love you guys. I mean, it was so much fun. And, and just to say a little more about Linda, she, and correct me on this because you guys are far tighter than we are, but uh, her whole history has been having retreats. Yes, with women women's who weren't really understood well, who who are struggling with their own identity in terms of how do I handle this situation that I find myself in and evolve myself as a human being. 
And what she did with these retreats is, I think it'd be like two or three days on a weekend down there in, in Georgia, as I recall. And, and uh, was it in Georgia? Am I re- recalling? I don't think right? so. I think she's in North Carolina. North but, Carolina, okay. But you're close. Yeah, yeah. somewhere. Down here somewhere. Southeast, right? Well, I'm the one in Georgia. So. That's right. You're, you're in Atlanta, right. But anyway, I think that's really very, very cool that you guys have actually engaged the picture from a larger perspective. So everybody yeah. can really think about this more constructively wherever they are. It can yeah. be a parent. It can be a, a mother. And you know what? Some guys are going to be listening to this too. You know, a no funny question. thing, you get a kick out of this, Elaine. I mean, I'm looking at my numbers on my dashboard to see what's going on, you know, and I can, because with my whole atmosphere, I can actually read who's watching, not names or, or computers, but, right. and really what's amazing to me at Core Brain Journal is we have a much greater percentage of guys than we have of women. And I sh- was thinking my mavens were the people that I respect who are going to change the world are women because they're <laughs> busy working on the family. They're taking care of their husband who's lost and they're taking care of the kids. So I thought, you know, this was very interesting, but it, but I think that what will happen with this, and I hope we can help support this by having a program here, a lot of guys are interested in this topic as well, and, it's, and they're Absolutely. not excluded. Well, and that, that's why exactly why it's a parent's palooza and not a mama palooza, right? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. even though it may have been a catchier title. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but really, this is about parenting, and it's about co-parenting, and it's about partnering to support these kids. And whatever that family dynamic looks like, we have, yeah, probably the majority of our audience is going to be women, but there is a very significant proportion of men, particularly men, younger men who are coming into family life with a new way of being and a new way of looking. And and they have a very different sense of partnership and they're looking to, to share the experiences of family life and parenting. And it's really, I've seen that just in the, in the last 10 years in my practice, that I've got significantly more either couples coming in for private coaching or men coming in because they want to be better fathers. Jeez. And isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful Yeah, thing. it is fantastic. Yeah. So I, I agree. I think we're going to have a great, it's going to be an amazing event. Uh, the audience in and of itself will create a nice energy and have a fun Facebook page and all that. Um, well, folks, it's, a, it's very interesting ordinary. because you have, a, you have the diversity going into it. Pardon me again for yeah. interrupting. I get excited yeah. about it. But I mean, you really have a larger picture perspective of your mission yeah. than just one set or another. So even when you're doing ADHD parenting, you all already have a larger vision yeah. because you're really thinking of both ends of the spectrum. Exactly. And it's a free event. So the idea is, you know, if you have a phone or you have an internet access, then you have access. And this is one of those things that we're able to do, to do between ADD and Impact ADHD to really make this kind of access to the leading experts in the world on these issues available to everybody. And well, you just had a good segue right there, Elaine. Yeah. <laughs> the leading experts. So let's talk about those guys. Fill me in so we know uh, a little more about who you're going to have on. And so our our listeners can say, gosh, darn, I really got to make this because these people are players. So we've got about 30 experts. So we'll have about six a day for five days. It's going to be August 20th to the 25th of this year, 2018. And we've got each day sort of has a different theme or topic to it, right? So the first day is going to be about resiliency. And we've got... Say that again. It didn't quite come across. The first day is on resiliency. Resiliency, okay. And resilience. We'll have Rick Green from Totally ADD, who mm. just is a laugh right. He's going to be talking about creativity. We've got Dr. Mark Burton. He's done a lot of work on mindfulness and resilience. We've got Susan Stiffelman, who wrote a book on parenting without power struggles. Who else is that day? Debbie steinberg Kuntz has done some work with uh, bright and quirky kids. That's sort of her focus and how to help them thrive. And then the capstone of the day will be Dr. Russell Barkley himself, the one and only, talking about being a grandparent and the gift of grandparenting. Oh, fantastic. They so were sort of sort of covering the range. Every so, single one of those folks that you just mentioned are stars in their own right. I mean, they all, yeah. have, they all have an angle that they have really looked at very thoroughly, and they articulate it so well. I've, been, I've heard every single one of them speak at meetings, and yeah. that is a reason for everybody here listening to this to just make sure they make it. because. As she said, Russell Barkley, I mean, if you look out there on YouTube and see who's, who's nailing things all over the place in terms of actually changing the way we think 
about how the mind actually functions. Yeah. Russell yeah. Barkley is one of the thought leaders in the world. You know, he's a great guy. So that's great. So what's, uh, you know, we'll talk a little more about the next day, if you don't mind. So yeah, it really, it's a, such a star-studded cast. So the next day is going to be about coexisting challenge, right? So we'll be talking about issues, the couple's issues, most Orloff will talk about that. Steve Henshaw will be talking about young women and some, and some of the impacts of shame and maybe on, a little bit about self-harm. We'll have Penny Williams talking about autism and uh, Roberto Olivaria talking about sleep challenges, which are so universal in all of these issues. A couple others. I think Linda Rogg is going to talk about dysgraphia, which is sort of something that doesn't get talked a lot about in these areas, but it's a really, really relevant and not well understood coexisting condition. And then I think Ari Tuckman's going to sort of lay it out for us and give us a broader framework for coexisting conditions. So that's day two is really about, you know, ADHD plus, sure. right? All the other things that come with it. Mm -hmm. I know it's great, isn't it? That's amazing. You got some great guys. Ari, Ari's a great guy. We've had a number of conversations. I have, a, I, of course, all of them, I don't want to separate one person out from another, but, but I think another capstone person there in terms of his insights, and his remodeling the way we think about things. He's, he's certainly a strong player. Looking forward to that. Yep. And then next day is Wednesday. We will be dealing with school stuff because this is for parents and parents are the ones managing school, right? So on that day, we'll have, we're going to, there's, it's not, it's, we're trying to do an emphasis of all ages. So it's going to be some stuff for younger parents of younger kids, some for older kids. So Cindy Goldridge will be talking about collaboration with your kids for school accommodations and story department we'll talk about sort of ADD tipping points for parents. And then as the kids get older, we'll talk about, we'll have Lynn Minor Rosen talking about career planning, Jody Sleeper Triplett talking about structure and setting structures for studying. And we've got a couple of people who are, who are particular experts in executive function, working with teens and young adults. So Maggie Ray will be talking about skills for life success, Dr. Maggie Ray, and Michael Delman will be talking about sort of getting ready and college readiness. We've got an, a, a wide range covering the full age span, really, 4 to 24. And there's a special <laughs> session on the thought police who go in with the kids to the principal. Right, <laughs> exactly. Who need to review the entire situation for the 404. It's going to be a, a bonus session on that. Yeah, right. Um, and then we'll do some general parenting stuff. On Thursday, it's going to be more general topics. Um, John Wilson from SOAR, I know you know him, is doing... Something on fostering independence. Terry Matlin will be doing, he's doing something really interesting on sort of hypersensitivity. It's a really interesting topic, great conversation. We'll have Regina Lark talking about, we're not going to talk about how to organize your kid. We're going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses, the challenges and opportunities of, of organizing these complex kids. Debbie Reber is going to talk about some communication strategies and how to be in conversation with your kids and on their issues. And then I don't know if you know how Runkle from Screen Free Parenting and Screen Free Marriage, but he's going to um, no, talk no, about no. that issue. He's our sort of our final speaker today on, the, on that Thursday. That sounds very interesting. Yeah, I don't know him. Yeah. And then you get to be on medical day. <laughs> okay, good. It'd be a great <laughs> place. Friday to the end, because you know that's what everybody really wants is the medical stuff and what's what does treatment look like. So we're going to look at it from different ed angles, right? So we'll have Randy Coleman talking about technology. And how, in particular, how technology is being used to help kids with ADHD. We'll have Jeff Copper talking about exercise and how that plays into treatment for ADHD. Um, we'll have you talking about what, how to handle it when ADD meds don't work like we expect them to work, which happens so often. We'll have Phil Boissier talking about nutrition and ADHD. And then we'll have a couple of different angles on medication with Dr. Bill Dobson. We'll talk about it. And Dr. Great. Ed Hallowell was sort of great close guy. By Those two guys, yeah. empowering oh. your child. Outstanding people. It's a Ed pretty Hallowell. amazing lineup. I mean, isn't the guys it? that you have there, those guys <laughs> are just so cool. I've I've had Ned on a couple of times over here, and it's been so much fun talking to him because yeah. he really has a way of putting the package together in such a deliverable way. And I have to tell you that yeah. Bill Dodson was a guy that really turned me around years ago. I don't really? remember where I heard him. I heard him on some kind of program, podcast. I don't think I was even into podcasting, but I just remember listening to his presentation and it was transformational for me. It was like, I have been missing something all along. So those two guys and that set of people are going to be very, very good because all of us are wondering about the biomedical variables. You know, what goes on with treatment failure? How come if you're 
you have the uh, problem identified on the front end. How come these meds don't work? How, what, or what are we misidentifying? What do we need to do differently to make this whole thing work? And that's, you got a great, great group on there. Really appreciate yeah, it. I, I'm really pleased. And then Saturday we'll come back for a little sort of closure wrap up. And we're going to do, Diana and I are going to do an open Q&A with Linda moderating it so that we'll be able to answer people's questions and let them sort of take what they've learned in the week and see if we can help them process it. That won't be wow. any fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, we never have any fun. You, know, you we're guys on a never have. Mission. Yeah. And the best thing to do on a serious mission is not to take yourself too serious. Right? Isn't that the truth? That's one of the things I, I, I used to do a lot of fly fishing. I, I haven't had time for it recently, but. Oh, I'm going this guy, week. What, what, I love it. I love it. And this guy was a great guy, Harry Murray, up in. We'd fish the Shenandoah River up in uh, Northern Virginia. And he says, one thing about fly fishing, he says, no one can really take themselves seriously. <laughs> He Not says, with those waders if you, on, no. <laughs> if you take yourself seriously, you will be laughed out of the hut wherever you are. He says, yeah, there are some people that try to take themselves seriously, but they stand out. So I think having a little bit of uh, light variation with these really bright people who've done this for years, yeah. going to bring it to a nice closure. Sounds like a great plan, really, because Linda herself is not wanting in the sense of humor department. And <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Yeah. So that's going to be great. So who else could come up with the with the idea of a palooza? I mean, yeah, palooza, how yeah. could you not love a palooza? Right? Yeah, really. It yeah. has an Amazonian situation associated with it, kind of. A, this one will be fireworks. We're yes, right. <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to ask you a question when we get back, and this is what okay. I want to do. We're going to take a little break here, and what I want to do when we come back is take a little bit more of a personal view of how you wound up thinking about this, just the background with you folks talking and why you thought this might be helpful and sort of the background so a person can say, oh yeah, I get now I get where they're going with this whole project. So we'll ask a little more about that. We'll talk a little bit before we close about how that whole project came together. We know where it's going to go. And folks, we'll be back in just a moment. Today, the world of mind science, psychiatry, and mental health is rapidly changing with innovative, comprehensive testing that takes both patients and practitioners into a new world of measured details with useful, understandable, and remarkably actionable plans. The key phrase here is cost-effective. Testing also introduces a key parallel word, predictability. Psychiatric treatment failure, especially after multiple medications, and our brief hospitalizations arises directly from the complexity of measurable brain body imbalances and impediments that explicitly interfere with medical outcomes and create costly difficulties with inadequately informed supplement and medication trials over time. Great Plains provides a leadership team of biomedical experts with advanced laboratory insights approved nationally both by the FDA and CLIA laboratory certifications and is available internationally for both public and medical professions. Great Plains Laboratory is the primary laboratory we've used at CoreSight for years with excellent customer service for both patients and medical colleagues. They are on the spot, they get it every time. In addition, they provide exemplary training modules, which are webinars and conferences in an effort to broaden practice perspectives wherever you live. Do follow up on one of these complimentary test offers today at http greatplainslaboratory.com forward slash CBJ. Yeah, that's Core Brain Journal CBJ. Well, thanks again, Elaine Taylor Klaus, for joining us here. This is fantastic. You know, we're closing here with a little bit of a, a personal narrative because First of all, you're so engaging and delightful yourself. I always enjoy talking to you. And I think it's great to sort of get behind the curtain a little bit and think about where are we going with this and what, what you folks have noticed, why there's a need for this, and how you wound up putting this package together in the way you did, that sort of thing. If you don't mind talking a little bit about that, I think it would be insightful. Thank you. No, I'd love to. You know, I'm thinking about it in terms of, there's a lot of information out there, right? The greatest fear that any doctor has is when your client, when your patient comes in and says, well, I Googled it and, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a ton of information, but knowing what information is good information, what's relevant, what's salient, what's useful, and what's not, that's not always so easy to do. And so 
we are, all of us, Linda and Diane and I are all very committed to getting information out there to the community. As you say, ADHD is a very poorly understood condition. Um, it's complicated. It's difficult to diagnose. It's difficult to treat. It's got so many nuances to it, and it's so widely misunderstood that even people who have it or are raising kids with it don't really understand it as well as they'd like to. And there's this constant sense of it changing, and I don't understand. And the idea behind a telesummit like this is to really be able to have people come to it and say, okay, these are the best of the best. You're not going to get a better assembly of leaders and thought leaders in this particular realm in, in ADHD and parenting anywhere else in the world. And everybody should have access to that. Everybody. It shouldn't be that you can only get access if you can pay $500 to walk into the, you know, like it just shouldn't be like that. So this sort of levels the playing field and it brings the experts to the community and lets people have access to them and engage with them and hear them and learn from them. Let us question them, those of us who are who are well enough informed to really interact with them and, and interview them intelligently so that people can really learn what they need to learn in order to be the most effective parents they can be for their kids. Because there's lots of information out there, but knowing that you've got the information that's really useful and really up-to-date and current, that's a whole different conversation. And that's what we're trying to create. It's really a conversation. I like the concept of actionable. Yeah. <laughs> actionable is the deal. There's so many yeah. people talking. You can get lost in the theory, and I myself am guilty about that a little bit at times because I get <laughs> off on the edge and so on. But I think the issue is if we can keep our focus, which you guys do so well, and one of the reasons it's going to be so good, folks, for you to be here because I know every single one of these folks we're talking about and their mission is to make it actionable. It doesn't matter whether it's Russell Barkley, Ari Tuckerman, uh, Ned Hollowell, Dr. Dodson, you know, it just doesn't make any difference. They're all moving in the same direction. The thing that's really cool about it is having coaches involved with the bringing it together because that is, in fact, what they do. Many medical practices are happy to have coaches that they can consult with who actually get down to where the rubber meets the road so they can do more than just use the medications, more than do a little refreshing guidance in the office because a coach is going to actually make it happen. And that's what's really cool about this group. I think it's very, very. Well, you know, when, when we talk about coaching, there's two principles that, that are the fundamental to coaching. One is to deepen our learning or our awareness or understanding. And the other is, is to forward the action. And so I think this Palooza lets us do both. It's been very, as you can see, very carefully curated to really hit the key topics that are essential. So to really deepen our understanding of this dynamic and this condition. And then, yeah, to give you something you can do when you leave, stepping forward to move what's happening forward and to improve your kids. Ultimately, it's about improving your kids' self-management of their condition. So, Elaine, I'm going to make a confession here. You know, one of the things that, uh, one of the reasons I'm so motivated to do this with you is because, and people who listen here on Core Brain Journal know this, you know, ADHD is, I think, the turning point in the entire psychiatric industry. Really? If you understand the confusion, I'm trying to think of a nice word. Confusion came out. It's a pretty, pretty good word. It, I, the complicated nature. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Thank you very much. The complicated yeah. nature of ADHD yeah. and how frequently it's treated incorrectly. Yeah. Sure. That, and I'm kind of, Elaine couldn't quite say that, but I'm certainly happy to say that because I think there's a certain level that we all need to improve what we're doing. If we use ADHD as the door that opens up what's going on in psychiatry, which is a whole larger vision, I know that isn't necessarily Elaine's message, but I do think that's the reason for us all to be there because it's an additional point. If we're not really dealing with cognition and family relationships and the evolution of humankind in a constructive way, then what's going on with psychiatry, folks? I mean, what's what's the point? Yeah. and the other piece that jumps out at me to that is that part of this is about medical management and health, and mental health management, right? For sure. Mm-hmm. But then it impacts all these other things. Like I truly believe that if we were properly, really effectively treating ADHD, we would see significant reductions in addiction rates. Addiction, crime. Crime. <laughs> in, I mean, like... Divorce. All, exactly. Name it. Uh, you name it, it's a risk factor. And one of the things Dr. Barclay's been talking about more and more lately is, you know, warning, this is a public health crisis. So true, so so true. 
we have an opportunity to become better informed about what this really is so that we can manage it. Because if you don't know what it is, you don't know how to do it. Yeah, I'll just throw in one other one that occurred to me. Child abuse. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> Sexual trauma. Yeah. Okay, so the issue is we have reasons for everybody to be there. So let's, Elaine, as we close, get a clear idea where they need to go to get on this, and we'll get this wrapped up, and we'll see everybody there when we're in the show. Well, I think that's fabulous, and I want to thank you very much for having us here and letting us talk about this event and sharing information about it, because I really do think it's an extraordinary, extraordinary event. They can find out more at ADHDparentpalooza.com. And they can sign up. They're not going to be able to sign up yet. But by the time you broadcast this, I suspect that mm-hmm. they should be able to, to do it without a problem. So ADHD Parent Palooza or ParentsPalooza.com. And you'll be able to sign up for free and get access to the, the whole thing. And if you can't attend all of them, you can, you know, you'll be able to buy recordings for a song. And hope you'll join us and dance and sing and play and learn a lot. Well, it's really a privilege to be working with you. It's a privilege always to have you on because you're so clear, lucid, and and really such great information. Thank you. And it's a privilege for me to be participating with you in this project because it's really just what I said. I think anything we can do to pull this whole Michigas together, you know, we can actually yeah. start really understanding what's going on as opposed to, hey, here's a label, let's throw something at it and call it a day. And so... Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. And we'll My pleasure. look forward to talking to you on the inside, as they say. Sounds great. Thanks again, Doc. Have a good day. Thanks for listening to Core Brain Journal. We're working every day behind the scenes to bring you reports that connect research benches with those street trenches. Here we share the complexity of mind science because, as you know, details really do matter. One of the most pervasive misunderstood challenges is how commonplace medications like those written for ADHD are used so regularly without clear guidelines. If you think you'd like more specifics, take a minute to download my two-page PDF packed with video links and references on the absolute essentials of how to start ADHD medications. They're easily available at corebrainjournal.com forward slash start. Thanks for listening. Do connect and stay tuned. Together we can make a difference.